Greetings, I am Chef Eli Townsend, the executive chef of Sage Memphis, located at 94 South Main in the heart of downtown. I just wanted to take a moment and share with you our first ever Black Restaurant Week experience. We are greatly appreciative of Cynthia Daniels and company for creating such a vibrant opportunity here in the city and exposing businesses to people who otherwise might not know we existed without Black Restaurant Week. And so Black Restaurant Week was definitely a mountain to climb for us. We received an influx of business from patrons all across the city. All different ethnicities and diversity was here and we were able to share why we became Sage. Our motto and our mantra here is serving a great experience and we're so excited that we were able to do that for an entire week here in the city of Memphis. Just a little bit about Sage, we are under the MDN Enterprise brand. It's an entrepreneurship that started in November of 2018. It's a collective group of young men who decided that they wanted to create an atmosphere where people can receive positive vibes, great food, and an overall great experience. If you've never been to Sage, you have to come down, try one of our soul rolls, which I think at this point is our signature item. Everyone orders the soul roll and no one leaves disappointed when they try it. Thank you so much. Chef Tam with Chef Tam's Underground Cafe, um, located at 2299 Young Avenue in Memphis, Tennessee, in the Cooper Young area. I am participating in my third Black Restaurant Week. It has been an interesting challenge. Um, I participated in my first Black Restaurant Week after only having been open a couple of days. So that in and of itself was a challenge because there were so many people and I was so afraid. I wasn't sure what to do. Um, but what I can say honestly about Black Restaurant Week is that the week um, comes on the heels of the holiday season. And the holiday season is when customers start um, saving money and making resolutions to lose weight. And so they often stop um, coming or patronizing small restaurants. And so Black Restaurant Week puts us out in front of a lot of customers and that customer base or for that week is pretty much like the, how can I say, I'll say it's like the resuscitator for small um, family owned businesses. The peach cobbler nachos are a blessing. <laughs> they will bless your life. They will bless your life. They, may, they hurt me. But they were they were delicious, and so i have always loved to come out and support uh, black-owned businesses, particularly during Memphis Black Restaurant Week. And this was an excellent choice at Chef Tams, um, and it was certainly worth the wait. <laughs> um, I'm a waitress at Chef Tams Underground Cafe. Uh, this is Black Restaurant Week, and my name is Kimberly Adams. Uh, it has been crazy busy. Even we opened a special day, even when we're we're supposed to be closed, and it was busy then. Um, I like it because it brought people from all around Memphis to our restaurant to taste our food, and people taste things that they normally would have tasted um, and gave their opinion on it. And it was a good way for us to also start rolling out a new menu that will start next. Chef Tams was fantastic. It was great. This is our first time here. We live not far from here and we had, I had chicken Oscar, which is fried chicken on mashed potatoes with a spinach sauce. It was delicious. Um, I had the fried chicken with the mac and cheese. And that mac and cheese was a whole nother reality with a very good flavor and uh, lots of shrimp in it. Uh, the candy yams were also excellent. I, I can't imagine anyone ever leaving here hungry. Food that'll feed right, two that, children that, for two days. Right. Okay. We're, we're leaving with one dessert and polished off another. Uh, I, it was really excellent. We're very glad we came in tonight. We definitely recommend it if you haven't been. Hello Memphis, hello America. I'm Rob Senior. And I'm Rob Junior. 
So because I did not see African Americans come into cigar shops, I did not see women come into cigar shops, I didn't see that as a problem, I saw that as an opportunity. Yes, sir. So uh, yes, sir. in uh, 2009, it was the birth of Cigar One Family. And here we are 10 years later, now we have four shops, uh, three here in the uh, Mid-South and one under construction in Atlanta with the legendary uh, Dominique Wilkin. I think it's really important. A number of people have asked, and I know that other people want to know, how did Black Restaurant Week affect us financially? But personally, and you can interject too as well if you need to today, I think Black Restaurant Week is about more than the finances. It's about bringing black people together, specifically to have a reason to support each other. Now, of course, it helps financially. Everybody comes out, it was a really good time. Black people do support black people but it's more about building awareness about black restaurants, black bars, black essences. And the beauty of cigars is that uh, from uh, our neighborhoods, from our conversations at home, from the television, from the media, we are oftentimes inundated uh, with what divides us, what separates us, what uh, we don't have in common. But the beauty of cigars, it makes us focus on what we have in common, yes. and that is the love of a fine handmade cigar. Yes. Now, cigars, unlike cigarettes, it is not an addiction, it's a desire. Yes. It is not a habit, it's a hobby. You know, unlike cigarettes, you do not inhale a cigar, you just savor the flavor. But more importantly, it permeates conversation that oftentimes become a springboard to relationships and then partnerships. Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? So uh, uh, it doesn't matter what their social economic status is, it doesn't matter your gender, your race, your political or your religious preference. What well, all matters is that you can sit down and enjoy a fine handmade cigar and do what everybody wants to do from time to time and that is relax. Very so um, I think for us here at this particular location, Black Restaurant Week really exposed that. It brought in some new faces, yes, which I, yes, I, I, I am just so happy and so thrilled about that. Very you know what I mean? And it's not just mm -hmm. about smoking cigars, it's about the camaraderie, mm -hmm. it's about the relationship because that's what cigars do. You know what I mean? So I want everybody that can hear my voice to understand that we need to spend our money with each other, more of it. Now, I'm not saying just spend your money just with black companies because that's, that's almost impossible. But what is probable is that we can enhance our own economic empowerment if we start trusting each other, yep. if we stop competing against each other. Yep. We've been conditioned to compete against each other. So what happened with that, if I compete against you, I don't support you. Exactly. If I compete against you, then I might hate on you. If I compete against you, I'm going to dislike you. Well, we compete in sports. We don't compete in brotherhood and sisterhood. We don't compete in love. And I just want to welcome everybody to Memphis, welcome everybody to a beautiful city. A, few, a city that has so much potential. Although Memphis is not where it should be, but by the grace of God and by us trying to work together, it's not where it used to be. So there's a lot of potential, and let's make sure we take part in it. We're taking it to the future. Yeah. We are taking it to the future, literally. Black Restaurant Week is uh, a launching pad. It's a springboard. We ain't got there yet. Yeah. We're going to make it happen, all right? And guess what? It's father and son. I, I love it. It's my hero right here. Yeah. yeah. We're very fortunate. <laughs> very appreciative. Thank you so much, Cynthia, for creating Black Restaurant Week. We hope to keep it going. but. It's gonna become Black Restaurant Month, Black Restaurant Year, Black Restaurant Everything. And it's gonna move from Black Restaurants to Black Bars. It's gonna move to Black Bookstores. It's gonna move to Black Law Firms, Black Everything. So black Business, Black Love. Exactly. Oh, and I gotta say this. This is our 10th year in business. No one thought we'd do it. They said we wouldn't be around 10 months, Rob. You gonna give them, you gonna give them the secret already. I gotta give it away. Well, Bill Street Cigar Festival, it is his fifth year, and guess what? We're giving away a car. You going I thought you was gonna hold it to yourself. Oh, I had to tell it, man. I had to tell it. We're giving away a car at the Bill Street Cigar Festival. That's right. Cynthia Daniels, you are fabulous. I love you. You do a great job. And Cynthia, you have a lot of respect well, that's because you earn it. You earn the respect that you have. And uh, we just thank you for everything that you do. And everybody, let's just show each other some love. That's what it's all about. Shout out to Wendy, too. Yeah, we Wendy, you. you my girl. We see you, Wendy. Yeah, Shout out to look Wendy. at you, Wendy. I love it. Y'all come down and smoke with those man. Let's have a good time. All right? Have a drink. Let's talk about some things.